Hey guys, I'm Veronica and today I'll be doing a book review on Animal Farm by George Orwell. Uh -huh. George Orwell? Okay. So his real name is actually Eric Arthur Blair, but his pen name is George Orwell. As usual, I will have a synopsis linked down below. So there's Mr. Jones who's just the human in the book and he doesn't treat these animals with respect. So they plan to rebel against him and they finally do rebel against him. When they do, they're all happy and they make seven commandments and if they follow those seven commandments then equality will be really simple to have. And so they all agree that this is the life that they've always dreamed of. Like everyone's different so what might be satisfying to some isn't for others and that's where problems come in. So to begin with there are pigs in this novel and they are just like really smart and they're always the ones talking and leading and reading and writing and they're the ones that write all of the commandments because they know how to write. Um, there are dogs which are kind of like bodyguards to the pigs because they're loyal and there are sheep in this novel that are kind of like mindless followers and they just do whatever whatever animalism wants them to do. There are horses and there are two main horses. There's Boxer and there's Molly. Um, Boxer is just like this really big horse that works like harder than anyone on the farm and then there's Molly who is like the opposite. She's really lazy. She misses Mr. Jones. She like likes to play with the ribbons and stuff. There's a random cat that only doesn't work either, just like Molly. There's a bird that talks about Sugar Candy Mountain. He makes animals believe that if they work hard in this life, they will get all of their dreams come true in the next life. Or in Sugar Candy Mountain. And it reminds me of Charlie the Unicorn. In the novel, as I said, they all rebel, they write their seven commandments. Um, but throughout the book, the commandments get changed. They change all of them by adding on to it instead of crossing things out. It probably just sounds like a silly fable where animals talk to other animals, but it's really an extended metaphor of communism. And George Orwell or Eric Arthur Blair, he wanted to publish this and he wanted it to be published during the war and the publishing companies said no because um, they didn't want to make like the Russians mad or think that we were mocking them even though that's kind of what George Orwell did in his novel and I think if you're in a classroom and you're learning about everything that's going on and you know like the symbols it makes the story more enjoyable because I um, really don't enjoy learning about history but when I was learning about it while reading Animal Farm it was like really simple to understand and I really liked that. Um, at the very end of the book like the pigs start acting more and more like humans because they're like selfish. At the end of the book they start they stand on two legs which is like a big deal. Um, and they wear clothes at the very, very end. So, I didn't really... I was like, oh, okay, that's like the ending of the book. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I went to go babysit, like, this girl, and she was watching Olivia, which I'm pretty sure was a book. And they turned it into, like, a TV show. And there's something about Olivia, like, that bothered me. And I was like, what? Okay, Olivia is about a pig standing on her hind legs and wearing clothes. So if you just enjoyed this book so much that you just want to know what happens next, go watch Olivia. It's basically what Animal Farm would be like if it continued. Pigs would take over and there would be societies of pigs, um, except it wouldn't follow animalism, which was obviously communism. It was more like, I don't know, 
I don't think I'd recommend this book. I wouldn't just go up to someone and be like, oh, you're really interested in reading. You should definitely go read Animal Farm. It's like a great piece of literature and you'll love it. Like, I wouldn't recommend it, but I have heard people just being all like, Animal Farm is weird. It's about these talking animals and they say mean things about the book, but I'm like, I would defend it. Like, if someone was like, do you think Animal Farm is weird? I'd be like, well, no. Like, I mean, I liked it. I liked reading about all these characters and I, I was entertained so I did like it but I wouldn't recommend it if that makes sense anyways I hope you really enjoy my book review and if you have any more suggestions please um, leave them in a comment below or message me on YouTube thanks for watching bye